Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and my guest today is Oracle ace J.J. Zhang. J.J. is here to take part in a new feature on the OTN ArcBeat YouTube channel, the two-minute tech tip. How are you today, J.J.? I'm good. All right, so what's the subject of your tech tip? The subject of the tech tip is around uh, how to build a responsive, adaptive web center portal using ADF technology. And this is actually based on a presentation you're going to be giving at Open World? That's correct. So this is based on the presentation I'm going to give in Open World around the Oracle Web Center Portal mobile strategy, which is a hybrid approach of adaptive and responsive approach. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, now remember, the yeah. clock will be running, and an alarm will sound at the end of two minutes. I'll give you warnings at the final 30 seconds and final 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. All right, your two minutes starts now. The first tip is uh, from Web Center Portal to consume a, a responsive CSS. We need a separate CSS file for media query. The reason is uh, we know it's being the, the skin CSS file being registered uh, from Trinidad config, the skin cannot be reckon, cannot recognize the CSS3 syntax yet. So the media query syntax, uh, as well as uh, custom font syntax with ads uh, before the media or before the fonts cannot be recognized. So we need to have a separate CSS for the media query usage and consume it from ADF in a tag called EF resource. That's the first tip. Second tip, the traditional way of adaptive approach is to detect device. Uh, any, any detection target to device cannot be considered a future preferred approach because devices are uh, innovative as we speak here. The recommended way is to detect the device by the viewport size, similar to the responsive CSS media query principle. The third tip is leverage native ADF layer components and respect them. Certain ADF basis risk plan components have been built with automatic uh, capability. Uh, setting with the native behavior of such components uh, by custom standard JavaScript could only call inconsistent, inconsistent cross browser behaviors, performance issues, and other 30 functions. seconds. Uh, you study them, understand them, respect them, and use them wisely. The third tip is follow the ADF UI. Uh, Follow the ADF UI development basics. The term is management ADF components may be not straightforward and very and most deep dive type of guidelines to showcase their use in different scenarios. The, the, for, the basic tip is minimize the mixing of HTML code snapping your ADF page. Um, embedding HTML in, into the HTML page to break future ADF components. That's your time. That. All right, good effort. Thanks, Thanks, JJ. Uh, I'll include information on when and where your uh, open world session will be taking place in the notes for this video. Uh, thanks for playing. Thank you.